This ultrasound is that of a 35 years old male and what I am showing you is uh, the uh, gallbladder, the portal vein. This is the gallbladder, this is the liver, this is the portal vein and this is the right hemidiaphragm, liver is fatty but otherwise uh, there is no finding, significant finding. Uh, relating to the liver or gallbladder or the vessels and or the ducts, no intrahepatic bile duct bacteria seen. Now there is a cystic mass, complex cystic mass seen in the region of the epigastrium. When I place the probe in the region of the epigastrium transversely, this is transverse section, uh, there is a multi-septated cystic mass seen. Yeah. with no internal uh, calcification or uh, depth or uh, but it, its wall is thick. This is the anterior wall of this cystic. This is this is the cyst, and uh, the, this is the wall and my is 5.2 mm and this is the cyst in transverse section measuring approximately uh, from this end uh, it measures approximately 12.5 cm into 5.5 cm. Okay, now the longitudinal section of the same uh, this is relates to the head of the pancreas in a sense that this is the aorta, this is the superior mesenteric artery arising from it and uh, this is the cyst with internal ecogenic islands, septas, Either this is a thin septa, incomplete septa. And this, this is the fluid within the cyst and uh, this is the head of the pancreas. This area marks the head of the pancreas, this one. So <coughs> this is in fact a pseudopancreatic cyst uh, that relates to the head of the pancreas as uh, uh, now you see this is the head of the pancreas. This area is representative of the head of the pancreas which is uh, measuring 3.0 into 2.8 centimeters. The cyst is multi -septated. Its upper half is almost clear and the dependent region or half of this uh, cyst contains all, these are all septas, all septas, thick and thin, complete and incomplete, all type of septas. Now you see this is a thick one, this is a thick septa and uh, this is a thin one, this is an incomplete septa, small. Moving the probe, keeping it in, in the transfer section now, this is the body of the pancreas, this is the body of the pancreas, this is the saplanic vein and this is the cyst that we are stirring by from this angle it may be approximately 12.2 cm in length and 4.7 cm in anterior posterior diameter. So this is the longitudinal section, this is the transfer section and you see this is the saplanic vein which is the landmark for the identification of the pancreas. This is the pancreatic body, yeah, measuring 2.2 centimeter and is with the normal dimensions. So coming down to see the tail of the pancreas here. You will see that there are a few tiny calcifications within the uh, margins of the pancreas. This is the tail of the pancreas, this area from here to here from here to here is the tail of the pancreas 
this is the supplenic vein and uh, this is the cyst uh, so and the tail measures uh, approximately two two centimeters and if you note there are marginal calcifications tiny these tiny calcifications can be seen at the margin of the pancreatic tear so uh, this is a large cyst that uh, extends from the uh, head of the pancreas from here it uh, comes up to the up to interior of the tail of the pancreas yeah. and Now, its approximate volume is Approximate volume is 545 uh, ml, and uh, so significant amount of uh, fluid is seen within it. And when I, now this, then I move the probe. This is, I have placed the probe transversely in the epigastric region, as the probe. As you see, this is the this is the area from where I am getting this view that you are seeing, and then I move it over here longitudinally. Then I move the probe a bit downwards and upwards to get the tail of the pancreas. Here I get the tail of the pancreas, and then when move upwards, I get the body of the pancreas. Yes. Now another, now we see uh, on the uh, ultrasound, we see that this is the duct, the pancreatic duct, this area, the slit-like area within the body of the pancreas. So this uh, pancreatic duct is not dilated. There are a few calcifications definitely seen within the parenchyma of the pancreas. Now this is see this is the saplanic vein. This one. This is the saplanic vein, which is uh, uh, demarcating the uh, pancreatic landmark. See this is the saplanic vein. This is the tail of the pancreas, body of the pancreas. And then here comes the, this is the superior mesenteric artery transfer section in this area. And in longitude in the view, this is the aorta. We see that the uh, superior mesenteric artery is arriving. This is the superior mesenteric artery, and here you will see the aorta. This is the yeah, this is this is the aorta. Superior mesenteric artery arising from it. This one and. Uh, This shows you the head of the pancreas. This is the head of the pancreas, and this cystic area uh, is relating to the head of the pancreas. At its, as you can see, the outer margin of the head of the pancreas is not well defined. 
because of the uh, cyst. So, in fact, this is a a pseudopancreatic cyst that relates to the end of the pancreas and then extends from uh, into the lesser sac and from the lesser sac it extends down uh, laterally at, at towards the left side uh, here just at the left subcostal mass of the left subcostal or left hypochondria. This is the region of the left hypochondria contains a lot of septas and uh, so this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.